So what I'm involved in is uh, many different projects. Uh, almost all of them are collaborative with places like the National Hurricane Center and then also other uh, universities and uh, government labs around the globe. And they're all aimed with this common goal of improving forecasts of the hurricanes or typhoons. And so there are several different types of forecasts that we want to improve. Um, the first is the track, that's just where's the hurricane going to go, where will it hit? And then the other, which is much more complicated, is the intensity. So that is how strong is the hurricane going to be? And that's a really active area of research that many of us, including uh, my fellow professors here at the Rosenstiel School, uh, are studying. In, uh, in August and September last year was the prediction side of this PREDICT uh, field experiment. And more specifically, I was involved in ensemble forecasting, which is uh, a new area of weather forecasting where we don't just look at one computer model, but we look at tens or hundreds of these computer uh, models. Uh, this field program was to uh, better understand the mechanisms of how tropical cyclones form. And so that's a process that's called genesis. And there are various theories and hypotheses, but there's not one that has been completely uh, ascertained or proven as this is the correct theory for how uh, tropical cyclones form. And associated with that, we actually are not very good at predicting those tropical cyclones. So in PREDICT, I was producing these tropical cyclone uh, forecasts, uh, ensemble forecasts, uh, every day. And then the, uh, the PREDICT group was discussing these forecasts and many other forecasts, and then deploying this aircraft, which is this gleaming new uh, National Science Foundation uh, G5 aircraft, in and around uh, tropical disturbances before they developed in depressions. So for this field experiment, we actually weren't interested in the big hurricanes, that we were interested in a few blobs of clouds that were popping up in the Caribbean and the Gulf of Mexico, and trying to understand whether these clouds would organize into a rotating tropical depression. Mm. The thing I will be doing that is somewhat uh, operational is uh, producing more of the uh, plots that I was producing last year, showing the ensemble forecasts of, uh, of Genesis for, um, for tropical cyclones. So some of the tools that I developed during the PREDICT field experiment that uh, I hope to be able to disseminate this year and future years and keep on improving those uh, so that users can get the best possible uh, information. And so with those, we'd want to make some informed decisions saying, well, we have high confidence in that forecast. Um, so let's start to make our preparations a little bit earlier and get people out of harm's way. So it's important to attach confidence, uh, information about the confidence in the forecast uh, together with just like the one uh, forecast about where we think it's most, the hurricane is most likely to go.